you guys, it's Wendy coming to you with a project share. Uh, this is another commission journal. Um, when I asked the recipient what sorts of items or images I should incorporate, color scheme, that sort of thing, um, there were all sorts of things I could have included. Um, roses, black panthers. Uh, initially there was a color scheme of maybe purple and black. Um, later, there was some um, bright pastels uh, that I could use, uh, and then also one of the later um, acknowledgments of images was things that were Western. And so what I found during all of this and during these commissions is that sometimes I, I can't do all of those, or for my personal aesthetic, I can't incorporate all of those <laughs> just simply because it, it would be too too much dissonance, too much opposites, and that it wouldn't go together in my mind. So I pulled together uh, the bright pastels, uh, mainly went for the Western part, and then also included, um, I think she said that she liked hummingbirds, so I included a couple of hummingbird images. She said she was a mother. I tried to make things kind of warm and homey and have um, some images that were home type <laughs> images. So we'll see if I, if I did what I needed to do. My cover is uh, pretty much as Western as it can get. We've got this kind of bandana look, this weathered wood, this cowgirl, and then of course my tassel incorporates the same colors, pinks, uh, light blues, reds, kind of a tan color. And then I went ahead and put this little gear on there. And then on the inside, I start out with a pocket and a recipe card, scrapbook paper, got a little pocket, this cute little cowboy, another pocket. Um, and again, I on the last journal I did, I went ahead and incorporated lots of lined filler paper. I think that might be my no, new uh, go-to. I kind of like that and having the stability of having lots of the same writing paper. So I might do that here and there. I found this cool image of a torn off jean pocket, so I included that. Uh, here we've got a woman with her six shooter and a black and white image about hummingbirds. Um, Mary Cassatt, uh, a very well-known motherhood image, and another bandana type piece of scrapbook paper. This folds out for writing. And we have a pocket, we have spurs. I tried to do kind of, I guess when I consider cowgirls, <laughs> I consider kind of a femininity and a softness and then sort of a little bit of a hardness and not afraid to get dirty. So I tried to play on that and kind of do hard and soft together, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Uh, we have another pocket here. There's a little house image. Uh, another um, cowboy type image with the gun. I did some vintage images here and there. Uh, this cool image of a house. Just lots of really, uh, this is probably one of my favorites, I have to say. I'm not really into Western type things, um, but I do like really how it turned out. This says, I am perfect exactly as I am. Kind of important to remember things like that occasionally. Um, these are, um, some of these are actually historical figures. This is actually Calamity Jane and she's in front of a cemetery stone. And I think it might be Wyatt or gosh, I can't remember who, who was the, um, who the cemetery stone was for, uh, but it's another famous, maybe Wild Bill Hickok, I'm not sure. Here we have another pocket out of a Dollar Tree spinner. That's kind of fun. This is on cattle brands. And then we have this vintage kids image. Lots of roses in there, of course. I like the, this image, of course, because you get the duplicate with the um, reflection in the water. I 
I thought this was a nice mother image oh, um, in the tall grass there. And I made an envelope out of rose images. And how to rope, how to. It's a cool image, huh? There's lots of cool vintage images, lots of pinks and reds and blues. Tried to go vintage. This is a pocket, but I couldn't think of anything to put in there, to be honest. I just left it. Some cool scrapbook paper. These cowboys. Another envelope I made. This is jean material scrapbook paper and just a little spot to write on. We have the Wild West map. Some more roses. of have a saddle. So yeah, basically just tried to play around with homey type images, cowboy images, mother images. Got a couple hummingbirds in there. There's another handmade envelope. Um, yeah, there's a little cabin with a bed and some boots beside it. I thought that was pretty cool. Here we have Hurricane Nell. And Mountain Kate. It's pretty fun. She's fighting off a, I guess it's a bear. This is the Colorado Huntress. And a beautiful rose image. Um, she did talk about using angel images. I didn't want to go too hard on that, but I included one just for the heck of it. Um, this person shot some dead coyotes, <laughs> or shot some coyotes. Coyote? How do you say it? <laughs> um, really cool images. Rustler Bell Star. There's this little guy who's um, taking down a sheep. It's weird, even though I grew up on a farm, I don't really... <laughs> have any sensibility as far as ranchy kind of things. Um, and you can tell when I describe things. Here's a hummingbird. And this folds out for coloring page of roses. Uh, I did include an angel image at the very end. And here's my back cover. I do need to find something for the top of this. It's kind of boring and ho-hum, so I'll have to think on that before I get it to my recipient. Um, but anyway, just wanted to share that with you. I left the back cover empty as I often do. I figure if it gets enough use, it's probably gonna get um, mucked up if I put anything back there. But yeah, just wanted to share that. And hopefully you guys are doing well and I will be back just as soon as I've created my next journal. All right, take care, bye-bye.